Hi everybody, this is Ryan Reed for Dice Up the Classroom. I was talking with a few teachers who like my app dice, but they want to do things for uh, younger students and everything, especially in the PK level. Well, I was doing some searches on Pinterest and Edgy Clipper a couple weeks ago, and I came up with this great idea. I've ever heard of Feed the this Letter Monster? Well, this is Feed the App Monster. So I made this out of an old container and a bunch of caps I've been collecting with different apps all over them. I and it works pretty, pretty simple with the way. Is you have the apps grouped over. And what happens is the students will be given a talk about apps they would like to use. So in one case they say, show me a show me uh, showcase app. In this case we have Kino. So they have to feed the monster a showcase app. Then they said, feed me one that deals with video. Well, here's an example using Ed puzzle, feed the monster, and it goes on this like this and so forth and so forth and so forth until they're done with the round. Once that's finished and the monster is all fed here, this is what happens is they're going to do this and the teacher is going to pick out a certain number of caps. They're going to pick out one cap, then another cap, and another cap. And what they're going to do is once they're all finished with this, the, stu the students or the teachers are going to create an app smash using these. So in this case, I have Keynote, Number Pieces, and Google Slides. So what's going to happen was, is we'll have the, we'll do a uh, number, we'll do a num numbers manipulables, and we'll take pictures of how to teach students how to do what are ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. And we'll put that in a Keynote. And then once it is, it can be exported out to Google Slides. So then that way, the students can look at the slideshow at home or online or in their classroom using the Google Slides about learning about math manipulables. And then they have to do a, they have to do projects on using the main app that it's based upon. So in this case, one app is chosen that will be the main one, which in this case is Number Pieces. And then they use the other ones to make something that the students are going to learn from and everything. It's a way to incorporate 21st century learning with 21st century technology. Uh, I'll do another example here. Put my monster back together. Hey, Jen, how are you doing? So I'm going to feed my app monster. And I'm going to do a documents app. So we're going to take out the app monster, and we'll have a student pick out one. We'll pick out another one, and another one. So we got Gmail, Paper by 53, and Google Documents. Well, here what we're going to do is we're going to have students create a story. They're going to make draw pictures in 53, and then what they're going to do then is then they're going to put together a little storybook, importing those pictures in Google Docs, and then it'll be emailed to their classmates of what they did. So they'll have like a digital storybook that they can share and the other classrooms can collaborate by using Paper by 53 and add on to the story. So this right here is a classroom generated story building. So they're making their pictures for their story, they're putting it together in Google Docs and then they're sharing it with other classrooms so then the students can do the same. Pretty nifty, huh? Any questions? No? Well, I want to have this up on YouTube, everybody. So this, everybody, is Feeding the App Monster.